How's it going, YouTube? I bought another tripod because the one that I reviewed recently, or not reviewed, but did an unboxing for, the neck, I guess, broke or got super flimsy or whatever. Uh, so it doesn't work super good right now. And I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get a different one because this one, like I said in the video, you get what you pay for. But this one, um, it looked better um, in the videos and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. I'm not 100% sure just because... Let me take that off. Just because... So on the box... So I get the box today, right? And on the box, I see... I see this. And usually that means there's batteries inside, right? So... I don't remember getting anything that has batteries inside of it. So I'm kind of curious as to what's inside the box. And I guess we'll all find out together. So here's another unboxing um, of a tripod stand, I think, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, it's from Amazon, so... Um, it should be interesting. Watch there be like a balloon inside and I just popped it. No. Um, yeah, so the, the, the last tripod, which I'm, I'm using it right now, but if it starts like moving downwards, then that's why. Because the neck, I don't know, it's stupid. All right, so those are my wives. This is selfie stick track. Okay, so these are my wives. All right, I mean, this is my wife. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way because that wouldn't have batteries inside of it. So let's just put it right here. And all right, so here's selfie stick tripod. Um, let's see, let's all do a little unboxing and see what we got in here. See if it's just as cheap as the last one. Ah, that's why. I bet you they had that, had to have that battery, uh, sticker on there for this. The little remote. I don't even think about that. Probably, I don't know, I might use that. I probably won't um, because I got this, um, the S Pen for my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Um, so I probably won't need it. Here's some, of course. Here's a, oh, I think that might be a little bit better. So the issue that I was having was the, well, maybe I, maybe it'll be better, I don't know. But the issue I was having was, one, this part right here was too, I guess, it was, it's spring-loaded. Like I said, it was spring-loaded, but it, it almost seemed like this part right here was going to break after a bit. So I just, I don't know. That plus, oh, dang, that sucks. This little rubber piece is off. Is that supposed to go this way? Yeah. Yep, this way. Okay, so I had a little rubber piece to kind of protect your phone from getting damaged. Anyways, that's not the thing that I'm super worried about. The thing that I'm worried about... Here's there's the tripod. So the thing that I'm worried about is this, this right here, that little part right there, because 
on this one that I'm using right now, it's kind of messed up, so it doesn't it doesn't uh, swivel quite right, and it and it doesn't exactly stay where it's supposed to stay, so it's kind of kind of irritating. Mm, let's see, is it better or is it about the same? I mean, it feels kind of kind of flimsy. I gotta keep loosening it or something. What, what's going on here? So this is for the phone. This is supposed to be for lifting it up, but why is it not lifting up? Out. Honestly, I don't know why. Yep. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should like read the instruction manual. Oh, it clicks. Uh, I don't know if I like that though. Like it's good that it clicks, but, well, actually, I'm not even sure if it's good that it clicks, to be honest, because, no. Yeah. Let me just, okay, let me just look at the, uh, the instructions first, and then get back on camera. I mean, this is, this wasn't exactly the unboxing, I just wanted to see why it set a battery whenever there was no battery. Anyways, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, so, man, I already have to kind of adjust this a little bit and it's not staying as you can see. See, it's starting to slowly go down. I think that's, pro actually, that's probably about where I want it anyways. I just need to tighten up this screw. See, that's the thing, that's the problem with this is I have to, bring a screwdriver with me, you know, and I shouldn't have to. <clears throat> Anyways, okay, so, so the, oops, sorry, my camera woman isn't here right now, so, okay, so I looked at the, at the instructions a little bit, and basically, all right, so what I'm supposed to do is I loosen this up a little bit. It doesn't actually say on here about the about adjusting adjusting this, but basically what I'm supposed to do is loosen it up a little bit, you know, uh, loosen this part up a little bit, and then actually I wonder if I could just stand behind. Yeah, there we go. And then um, just force it over, I guess. And then it, it goes into place, like if you can see this right here. Watch. Well, I guess you can't really see it, but. Yeah, you can't really see it. Anyways, it goes into place right there. So. What you do is you, oh, sorry, I forgot. So to, to open up the legs and everything, you're supposed to loosen up this. Actually, that's not too bad. I mean, it feels a bit, kind of sort of the same type of material, but it seems better. So you loosen this up. And at that point, you can open up the legs. And you can tighten it up. And there you go. It kind of has, like if you push down enough, basically this, 
this over. That's okay. So basically this right here, this little knob is supposed to, I'm assuming that screw right there, you can see right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. I gotta try not to touch the, okay. So this right here, that I think whenever you tighten it up, it's basically pushing up against this. So the problem with that is, see, the problem with that is if I were to, oh, I don't know, forget or something like that to, uh, to loosen that screw before trying to adjust it and I just kind of go all crazy with it, then obviously I'm going to break something. But anyways, so there's that. It's supposed to be, um, man, actually, I don't, I don't even remember. Um, hmm. That's interesting. It doesn't even say like how tall it's supposed to be. I'll figure out how tall it's supposed to be and I will leave it in the description below. Um, so it's, I'm going to loosen this up because I don't really need it that high anyways. I mean, this is pretty, pretty much the same, the same type of thing as, as the last one. So it's not, you know, anything super spectacular. It's, I mean, it's nice, but it's, it's not like ultra expensive or anything. Anyways, so the thing that I like a lot is this these things right here because so for example if i want to go like this i can lift up this portion wherever i want and then i guess it pushes in place somehow and now it's it's snug it's snugs down and it's just kind of there so i like that Whereas the other one, you just, ex, you know, you extend it and then you twist it a little bit. If you saw my last video, and I'll, I'll leave that in the description too. Um, but the last video of a tripod that I, that I reviewed or uh, op opened up, it uh, you had to kind of like twist it a little bit to be able to lock it into place. I don't know. It just, it wasn't that great. It was kind of dumb. Just a little bit. This one, on the other hand, I can set it right there and it stays. And then there. And as you can see, that's not going anywhere, which is nice. The only gripe, the only gripe I would say that I have at least right now without actually like using it except for opening it up and checking the inside of the box the contents is this right here like i don't i don't know I, this i feel like you're kind of limited whereas the other one it was there was like a almost like a ball bearing like right here so you can swivel it around like that you know and move it around however you want and then just use a, um, you know, something like this to tighten it up. But with this one, it's, it's here. Let me see if I can loosen this up. With this one, see that? It has like grooves. And those grooves go into that right there. I don't know if you can see that right there and I can see that eventually not working quite right because it's I mean it's plastic you know so I can see those eventually like getting really worn down and me having to get another tripod man I'm gonna have to Zoom out, that's kind of a little crazy. 
All right, so I'm gonna have to find out, find a better tripod maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna discuss it with my wife. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you do. Discuss it with my wife and then uh, see what she thinks. If she thinks it's kind of flimsy and crappy, then I will be sending it back and getting another one of a different brand or type or whatever. Uh, but if she says seems good enough, then I think I will hold on to it and um, and try it out. Because it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't seem horrible. You know, you can put a camera up here or um, the good thing is I can get the light from the previous tripod and instead of just it being a total wash, I can get the light and clip it on here, on this right here, and then uh, screw it on there really good. And I can still use the same setup that I had before. Um, the only thing, now that I think about it, how thin is that? That might, mm, I mean, that might work. I don't know. So the, the battery, the, the clip for the, uh, I guess the, the battery that I was using to, to charge my phone and also to, to give power to the light, um, I don't know if that will be able to sit on there. I think it will. Just looking at it right now, it looks like it probably would work fine. So I'll probably end up doing that. And I guess that's that's probably gonna be the new setup. The picture, as you can see, shows it like that. So who knows, maybe I'll just use that. I can use that, uh, this, right here you know I can use this on here actually let's go ahead and set it up a little bit how about that so you're supposed to let's see oh okay let me loosen it up real quick which I guess doesn't necessarily matter so you're supposed to put this here and then you're supposed to use this to kind of help you tighten it up, but um, I can't do that. Okay, so there's that. And then... Oh, I don't have my old phone. Okay, well, you know what, let me just grab it real quick. Okay, and I'm back. So, what I decided to do was go ahead and set it up um, as if I was going to, like how I would how, how I would have it set up if I was gonna go out to the back or something like that. So, all right, so. Sorry, I'm still using the old tripod and it's kind of kind of funky. All right, so the good thing is I can set up the the battery pack and everything right there. It goes up. Let me see if I can, you know what? Maybe I should just There we go. Goes up to the light. And that's the old, I'm sorry, that's the new tripod, but the old light and the old, um, I guess, phone holder. The new phone holder, I think I like way better because it's, it just seems better. Like, maybe I just have it, wait a minute, is it backwards? Maybe that's what it is, I have it backwards. I don't know, but either way, this one seems better because I can, I can, put the phone in the holder and I can see the screen perfectly. And I like that. Um, I don't know why I did that. So 
Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it would be set up. Um, you can see the that part right there. I mean, that's the good thing is. So with this one, with the old tripod, the way I had to set it up is I would put the phone in the light part right there. And then I would have to get the light part and spin it around this. Uh, there's like a screw that goes like right there. And I would have to spin the light around the screw, which is pretty annoying because there's a cable right there. So with this one, it's better because it has, let's see, that right there. It has that and that little thumb screw or whatever you want to call it, that thing makes it so much easier to set that up. Because with this one, I didn't feel like taking it down because I was like, oh man, I'd have to, I gotta put this thing back together and twist, twist the cable around and, and unravel a cable and re, you know, wind it back up and everything like that. And it just seemed like a hassle. I know I'm being lazy, but it seemed like a hassle. So with this one, it's better because I can, I can, uh, use that little, that thumb screw right there or whatever, and just adjust it like that and unscrew something, put something back on. It seems a lot easier to swap things out. Um, the phone holder on the new one, I like a lot better. Um, because if I, if I don't want to use the light, like if I don't want to use the ring light, I can use the phone holder that I'm using right now and it works out perfect. It's uh, a lot better, but I don't know. Like I said, we'll see what the, I don't know what happened there. We'll see what the wife says. And, um, I guess if, if, uh, if she says that it seems worth it, then I guess I'll, I'll keep the tripod. Now I'll have two tripods. Like I have one that's kind of a little wonky, but I can still point it up straight fine. You know, I can, I can just put it like that and it's sturdy. I mean, it's a little wobbly, you know, back and forth a little bit, but aside from that, it's pretty sturdy. Obviously you can't walk around too much because then the whole thing kind of wobbles because it's a little uh, not as sturdy, I guess. But either way, like, I don't know. I guess I'll have two tripods and I'll just use them both um, somehow. That way it's not a waste of money because money doesn't grow on trees even though it's made out of trees. Um, all right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, the new tripod I like, um, I'm going to be able to use the old type setup that I have, uh, which is a plus, and it seems a little bit more well-made. Uh, we will see. Um, I'm going to let my wife see that portion. And if she thinks that that's a no-go, then we're sending it back and we're going to get something else. And then you'll see another review on a another tripod again. <clears throat> But hopefully that'll be the last one, or this one's the last one. And if it's not, then whatever. I guess it'll be a tripod review channel. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, like I said, we're trying to uh, grow the channel out. Um, hey, so I forgot to, to mention what was in the bag. And it was a little Bluetooth remote. Um... I forgot to show you guys. So it was basically this. Let's see if that if I can focus on that. There we go. This and this Bluetooth remote. So there. Yeah. So it has a little switch. That means it's on. 
you can you pair it to your phone and then you just press this to take a picture so that's pretty much it um I don't know if it's if it matters if it's Android or or iPhone, uh, just because a lot of these that come in uh, any kind of camera thing, usually it has a button for Android and then a button for iPhone. Uh, but this one just has one. So I'm assuming it would work for your phone, um, no matter what kind of phone you have. But who knows? Anyways. I guess we'll be seeing you soon.